Willow Rain, how's it going? Welcome to the live. We are back. Back again, back in town. Home from vacation. So making sure we're all set up good here. Go ahead and hit that um, thumbs up button on the way in. Um, I just got a message um, from Stevie. Um, just writing him real quick. What's up, everybody? Just writing to Stevie. What's up, Genomic Labs? Diego at Petsotics. Lorga, what's up? Willow Rain. Welcome, guys. Do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button on the way in if you don't mind. Sorry, guys. I got real busy on... Yo, Austin, what's good? I got real busy on Friday out in Vegas, so I wasn't able to go live like I wanted to, but I was on vacation. I needed to go have some fun. Uh, Jeff Moore, what's good, man? Welcome. Nice to have you here in, in the uh, in the live. Sent out some shirts and some uh, fridge magnets to a few of you guys. Um, so I'm starting to get the messages that people got those. So I'm excited. Hope you guys like those. King Blue, what's good, man? What is up? So had a great time in Vegas. Um, Friday was just kind of like the warm up. We went out to a club, like a really popular club out there called Tao. And uh, it was a good night. We had a lot of fun, drank a lot. Saturday morning, I went golfing, had one of the best best games I've ever played in golf. I was just killing it out there. Um, and then I went to an awesome show. Um, it was called The Ultimate Variety Show. They had a bunch of like circus acts and comedy. It was a blast. And then Sunday was just kind of like, uh, you know, getting a few things done while we were still out there. And then we headed back home. Nice to see the group gathering at GDH. Yeah, what's up, everybody? How's the snakes? Um, I have a female that's due to lay any minute now. Seriously, she's uh, she's looking super uncomfortable, ready to pop. It's the banana. It's the banana girl. Um, she's looking really swollen right now. She uh, she actually looks a lot more comfortable right now, but when I checked on her earlier, she looked really uncomfortable. Uh, so generally, when the tail starts to make its way towards the center, uh, they're they're about ready to lay. So you can see she's got these creases all in here. She's all these folds. She's nice and full of eggs. I'm. I'm guessing she's gonna lay six eggs. What do you guys think? What's your guess? I'm thinking six eggs. I'll set you guys back down. Here we go. Those peanut butter milk stouts are actually pretty good, bro. You tried them out? Yo, what up, uh, Jeremy? What's good, man? Welcome to the live. Hope all is well over there. I see uh, you're starting to get some action with what you got pairing up over there. I saw the, uh, the pre-lay shed on that carpet python it's crazy how much color that snake has after that shed uh, i'd say five seven seven's an odd number for snake eggs but it's uh it's not uncommon either um you say five yo swap member 187 what's good so jeremy i was out of town this weekend i was out in vegas as i was saying to everybody that's already here um i've been going live monday through friday every week for the last two two weeks this will be week three, and I generally go live my time about 10.15. I know your time, it's probably 1.15 in the morning right now. Bro, my normal uh, first time breathing, she looks like she's ready to pop, but all I feel is one egg. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, nice. Just leave her alone, man. I'm sure there's a few more in there. Sometimes you can't feel them. 8.15 a.m. here. I always forget where you're, where you're at. Um, Stevie, what's up, man? Thanks for sending me the picture of the shirt. I'm glad you got it. Hope you like it. I know, I'm sure you didn't expect the shirt, huh? I told you I was going to send you something, but I didn't tell you what I was sending you. But, hope you like it, man. You deserve it. Jose Vargas Estuga? What? <laughs> Speaking a whole nother language in here? I can do lives with the new changes they made. Need my old channel. I know, man. Dude, your old channel was awesome back in the day, man. Uh, are you still friends with all the people that you were making those videos with? Um, 
J and D reptiles. So funny thing, uh, Jeremy, is um, you did a video years, years ago. Uh, not this one. Got her and the boy made a little bit of a mess. But um, you made a video a few years ago highlighting the Karma 2.0 that you hatched out. And ever since then, I really, really wanted one. And uh, I managed to get one and raise her up. And she's been breeding like crazy. So hopefully, hopefully she'll go. She looks like she has a bit of an ovulation right there. But I'm still not 100% sure. But it, it definitely looks like it. Um, it just doesn't, it's not, it's not swelling kind of outwards. Um, I don't know how, what I'm trying to say, but as far as it being wide, it looks like an ovulation, but it doesn't quite feel a hundred percent there. She could be, um, at the beginning of it. She's feeling... She, that looks like she's going into ovulation, so that's a good sign. She's been breeding for a while now. But yeah, I remember you talking about the difference between a Karma and a Karma 2.0. So that's a pastel Karma. Uh, nah, it's just going to be one with my luck. Smash the like button. Thanks, Stevie. My Mojave laid seven eggs today. First clutch ever for me. I'm so stoked. That's rad, man. Good for you. Uh, let's see. Jose Vargas is the best last name in the world. <laughs> Honduran can't. Uh, no, I get you. I know you're saying you can't do lives because of the channel. You have to hit a certain amount of subscribers, I'm assuming. Um, congrats. Yeah, cool. Thanks, King Blue. No shit, dude. That's awesome. Phantom times butter. Looks good. Yeah, dude. I remember that video. I was like, man, that's like one of the coolest snakes that I'd ever seen. Um... At that time, Jeremy, you were you were well well ahead of the game. You were well established with your breeding pairs, um, and I remember seeing you in Brian Barchek's video on uh, snake bites, and thinking like, "Damn, this 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 kid's killing it, man. He's doing good. Sick with it, ball pythons. What up, man? Vegas was Vegas was amazing, man. It was a lot of it was a lot of fun. It was uh, I didn't do a whole lot of eating. I was kind of on a, a liquor diet for the whole weekend." Uh, definitely felt the wrath of it on Sunday. It took me a while to get over that hangover, but uh, it was it was a good time. It was definitely needed. Spent a lot of money though, but it was all good. It was well worth it. Trying to get back there. I know, man. Seriously, you were well well ahead of your time at that time. You were well established. Uh, I was kind of bummed out when I found out you were. I mean, it was good that you pursued your music career most definitely, but it kind of sucked when you were stepping away. Cause you were kind of the one of the inspirations um, of me getting into the whole YouTube thing. I used to watch you, Lenny, a uh, bunch of other guys, and that's what kind of made me want to do YouTube. Um, which were the first snakes that you checked on when you came back? I went immediately to the to the banana head clown to her tub, see if she dropped those eggs yet. Any any day now, man. Seriously, she's she's ready to go. And then um, I was checking on the other females to see how their ovulations were doing because I do have about six or seven ovulations um, that are in ending ovulation um, or beginning ovulation. So we're getting there. Lots of stuff coming, Inferno Faders and way more. I know I saw that, man. That's rad. Um, and then I kind of introduced a few more males to females. So we're on our way to hopefully having a pretty solid season here. I know it's going kind of late for me over here, but uh, I appreciate that, man. Forced to end it after J&D was destroyed by bad workers. Had no choice but coming back strong. Oh, dang, man. I didn't know. I didn't know it was due to that. I thought it was just due to you uh, wanting to pursue your music career, uh, which is awesome. I've checked out a, a few uh, few videos you had on music, you know, here and there. You guys get down, man. I like the style of music you, you play. Uh but yeah, you guys had a good bit going at J and D. It was it was very similar to like the snake bites, and it kind of had the same vibe where you guys were having fun and you guys had your little skits, dude. It was rad, man. Seriously, it was super rad. Uh, we're gonna get a live laying with uh, during one of our nightly meetings. Yeah, man. Hopefully, um, 
Actually, my very first clutch ever, I actually caught her laying eggs. I caught her in the act, and I think it's on one of my really, really old videos. Um, it might even, it might not even be on this channel. It might have been on the channel I had before. Missed my comment. Oh, you poor thing. Let's see. What would you say, Austin? You're probably talking crap anyway. Let's see. Let me scroll back. No, nah, it's just going to be one with my luck. I saw your comment. Let's see. Yeah, I saw your comment, man. You just weren't listening. Um, uh, the That was part of it, but bad workers killed off everything. Thanks for the support, bro. Hit me up on Facebook. I can fill you in for sure, dude. I'll hit you up, bro. Um, I was able to catch video of my Mojave dropping last night. Sweet. Got to run. Phone going to die. Talk soon, brother. Sounds good, man. Stay up, man. Stay up. Let me get a snake. <laughs> uh, hopefully soon, man. Um, hopefully soon I should be having some some stuff available. Um, I've got two uh, Het Desert Ghosts, um, ball pythons that I'm still working on getting on food and getting going. No, I'm not. We'll just repeat your comment, man. I'm not going to scroll all the way up. Austin. I still haven't seen a picture of you in my shirt online. What's up with that? <laughs> uh, I picked some up this weekend. I'm having one right now. That's dope, man. Okay. Yeah, those peanut butter milk styles are amazing, bro. Yeah, you're right. I did miss your comment, dude. I, I don't know what you're talking about. What kind of snake are you interested in, Brendan? Like, what is it that you're after? Like, what's what's been catching your eye lately? Matter of fact, all you guys that are in here right now, what's been catching your eye lately? Like, what's kind of the next thing that's not, like, overpriced or too expensive? What's, like, the next thing that you want to get? You know, I've been kind of digging the Hoffman or the Huffman stuff. Huffman's pretty dope. Uh, was killing time on Genetic Wizard to see what to pair my Mojave with next season. I liked a Mojave Granite. It looks dope. Yeah. Desert Ghost Exanthic Pastel Trick. Nice. Both nice. Really good. Desert Ghost Exanthic Pastel. Yeah, that's a that's a heavy duty animal, man. But I might know the the right person that's heading down that direction that could probably get you a nice uh, double head. Um, I actually sold a uh, adult pastel desert ghost male last year to one of my good buddies, and he works with Exanthic stuff. Um, so you might want to check him out if you're ever ready. Blade for the history of it. Blade, nice. I'll be honest with you. I prefer regular clowns over blade clowns. The reduction in pattern just doesn't do it for me. I actually like really busy clowns it it, it kind of kills it for me i may be partial to pies and i don't know why lol no pies are where it's at man pies are where it's at uh, i'll show you something real quick So the reason why I like pides is because they're so variable. Like, uh, let me, I'm gonna show you something real quick. Um, so I know you've seen this animal before, but I wanna get you in better lighting. But I like pides because they're so variable. So what's nice is that there's certain things that unlock different things with pied. So the Enchi tends to unlock a lot of pattern. So it, it's a pattern reducer. And then you have stuff like spiders and leopards that are um, um, not pattern reducer. What was I saying? It's a pattern enhancer. It's um, color reducer, essentially. It's, it reduces all the pied stuff. But then you get spider and leopard, and that generally throws higher white pied. So this is a pastel inchy pied. You can see a lot of the pieds bleeding through on the sides, all underneath here. But majority of the snake looks just pastel inchy or kind of like a really wacky pastel inchy including the head but i like pides because they're so variable you never know what you're going to get low white high white but there's certain things you can put with them that uh will kind of help out the direction you want to go 
I got Exanthic Lemon Blast gaining weight. She's going with my clown next season. Nice. That's super rad. And Blackhead Champagne. <laughs> yeah. Blackhead Champagne. Those are rad. I want to I wanna eventually go the Blackhead Mimosa route. I need to get some good females with decent size to be ready to go next season. I prefer no clown unless they are dark. Yeah. Same here. Brendan waiting for a few myself. I love all the pides. Yeah. I'll probably be producing heads before I produce visuals, even though I have the ability to do visuals. Um, I'm, I always try to think long term. And so I would, I would make, uh, be making some heads. Did you win AJ some money or nah? If so, he raised, <laughs> he said half his mind. Oh, you guys are BFFs, huh? Best to raise your own. I agree. Um, I did a little bit of gambling, but I generally never have luck with gambling, so I don't like to do too much of it. Uh, I had one clutch a few years ago that didn't make it, so I gave up, sold all my stuff, but I still have my rack, and I'm ready to get back into reptiles. Oh, bummer, man. You never want to do that. You never want to just do one and done because you invest a lot of money, and uh, unfortunately, sometimes you, you got to go through those. Um, every breeder out there has had you know, clutches go bad, females slug out, females uh, reabsorb. I mean, it's just, it's just part of it. And I always have the mentality because this is how I kind of, I carry myself, but I always have the mentality that you've got to get the bad odds to get the good odds. So don't give up when you get the bad odds. So I bred two desert ghost clutches this year. Um, and out of 12 eggs, I had only one visual um, pinstripe desert ghost. So the way I see it is, yes, I did really bad on the odds. And actually, the first clutch, I had almost all females, in which I have a female pinstripe I held back. She's beautiful. Um, so definitely that was worth it. But um, I feel like next, this season coming, when I start breeding the Desert Ghost stuff again, that um, I'm going to, I'm gonna like, hit home run, hit a home run on the odds just because I already got the bad odds out of the way. This girl is just glowing right now the camera's not doing her any justice but she's she looks orange dream uh, she looks i mean seriously she looks and she orange dream right now uh you know i'm gonna just text you what i said the mighty ducks baby nice is that what you said yep mighty ducks baby so i actually got this hat while out in vegas i got a bunch of new hats i just so happened to go into the lids store at, at the mall in planet hollywood and I uh, went there with my aunt, uh, her husband, and I ended up seeing this hat. I was like, oh, I got to get it because I am a Ducks fan. I actually have another Ducks hat. I've been to a, a few games. I also go to a lot of the San Diego Goals games. But there she is. Yeah, Mighty Ducks was a great movie. Yeah, it was my first and last clutch. A little Phantom to Mojave didn't make it. Oh, that blows, man. The, the purple passions are amazing. So I'm probably not going to be too long in this live tonight. I said you need to hurry up out there with them snakes. So Austin texted me, ball and chains. He said, I said you need to hurry up out there with them snakes because I need some GDH produced hypo blackhead puzzle desert ghost and GHI. Calm down, dude. You name every snake I have right there. That's whew, that's years away, man. Seriously. But um, good sign is that um, my... Um, pastel head puzzle she's bull wrapping right now so she's been for the last month been breeding to the um the pastel inchy head puzzle so we're looking good there san diego got a hockey team i've been there nine years why is this the first i'm hearing this are you kidding me dude the san diego goals man how have you not heard of them dude their games are like 15 and it's like, seriously, one of the best sporting events you can ever go to is hockey games. Literally, there is no crowd except for soccer. Sorry, uh, they definitely don't top soccer crowds. But the energy in there is just unbelievable. And um, whatchamacallit, the goals, a lot of their 
um, players end up on the Anaheim Ducks. So that's why I watch I watch both teams. Um, but they're amazing to go watch, man. Okay, I can't stay up all night tonight. My paid time off from work is over, and I have to go back to work. Have a good night. See you later, man. Yeah, they're trash. They're not trash. Get out of here. Hockey is one of the only professional sports I can get into. Yeah, it's amazing, man. Soccer is a lot of fun to watch, too. But um, in football, I mean, football, hockey, and soccer are the sports that I can watch. I mean, actually, and as lame as it's going to sound to a lot of you guys, I can actually sit and watch a full match of golf. I actually really, really love golf. Um, it's one of those things where I say don't knock it until you try it. And once you try it, if you stick with it, you realize how technical of a sport it is and um, how little adjustments and with a little bit of time, how decent you can actually get at golf. It becomes really fun. Super, super fun. I've been playing for the last two years and I, I can't seem to get enough of it. And I never, I never would have thought I would have been as into golf as I actually am. Like I had one of the best games I've ever played on Saturday out in Vegas. I had an amazing shot. It was like 150 yards away. And um, I used like a five wood, uh, which a lot of you guys are like, what the hell is that? Anyway, I hit the ball. It cleared a lake, hit a rock, bounced about five feet away from the hole. It was like one of the best shots I've ever done. Football is boring to watch, I think, especially on TV. Get out of here, bro. Oh, my gosh. Football is amazing to watch. Baseball is the sport I can't watch. I mean, on TV, it's just way too slow for me. Basketball, I, I'm not a huge fan of basketball. I'll watch some of the, the playoff games here and there, but it's just it's not that fun for me either. Uh, I'm worried my female has a respiratory infection, but I can't tell. How can I be positive? They'll get a lot of buildup on the side of their mouth, like a foamy, bubbly buildup. Sometimes you'll hear them wheezing, um, but respi respiratory infections are essentially snake cancer because it's very rare that a snake will go through respiratory and survive it. Um, literally, I mean, I've, I've lost a few snakes to respiratory infection and it's hard to say what the exact cause of respiratory infection is because you can have a snake in the center of your rack get respiratory infection and everything else around it is just perfectly fine. It just makes no sense. Um, and I've done the vet route where I've gone and I spent hundreds of dollars at the vet and um, I just, it didn't work out still. Hi, baby. You want to say hi, huh? You want to say hi? Okay. You say hi? You just got out of the back? Oh, you got your sucker? Don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah. Okay, go inside. It's too cold in here, okay? I uh, you're going to go play? Yes. Okay. What? <laughs> Bro, baseball is fire. Baseball is fire in person. I like watching baseball in person, but it's just way too slow for me on TV. Like, I get bored. I can't watch baseball on TV. Damn, I have two that have infections that have been fighting for months. You're killing me. Oh, dang, bro. Sorry to hear that, bro, but seriously, it's... Respiratory infection is, is pretty deadly. Um... Watch for them keeping their necks sticking up in the air. Uh, okay, I'm sure she doesn't have one, but I was worried because she yawned and had some excess saliva. That's pretty normal. What sometimes happens is they'll they'll drink their water, and that'll loosen up some of their saliva. So sometimes you, you freak out because you think that's what it is. But there's no denying respiratory infection. When you see it, you know it's there. They get, they get I mean, they get build up, and they'll generally... They'll, they'll be just like laying there with their mouth kind of open and you'll you'll sometimes hear them kind of like sounds like they're hissing but they're not so i've been trying the f10 fogging yeah i've tried that too doesn't work um literally i i tried that for about i can't say for sure it doesn't it doesn't work because i did it for about two and a half weeks and the snake seemed to be doing okay it just wasn't eating and it still had all the buildup but finally, I took it to a vet, and shortly after I went to the vet, it started to decline really fast. So I don't know if it was the medicine that the vet gave me that made him deteriorate really fast. Um, because the guy seemed really fishy, and just what he was telling me to do just didn't make sense. And I even I even negotiated my, my vet bill with him because I told him, I was like, uh, that doesn't sound right for what I'm getting, blah, blah, blah. And he, and he let me negotiate the cost. So it was just kind of... It was a bad experience, but who knows?
I've got a whistleblower that whistle every now and then. <laughs> That's your booty hole. Uh, gold Seasons tickets, $2,700. I know where my tax money is going. Wow, I'm surprised they're actually that expensive. Um, generally, through my bank, I can get tickets as low as $10. Bucks. Um, but Thailand has been kind of working on one for sure. Nice. But yeah, Gold's tickets, I mean, uh, Gold's games are just, oh my gosh, they're a blast. I always go there with about four or five friends, and we drink a bunch of beer. After the game, we walk across the street. There's a really good Mexican food place. We end up there before heading heading back home. It's always a good time. I, I generally go to about four or five games a, a season if I'm lucky. Anyone got big plans this season? That's right, next to the ice. Haha, uh -huh, that echo. Don't show Austin this. He's gonna he's gonna he's gonna think it's for me. He's gonna think something nasty if I show him your sucker. Here. We're not opening the sucker. It's too late. We'll open it tomorrow, okay? If you're gonna have attitude, you can go inside. Okay? <laughs> She's all laughing at me. Okay. Um, big plans this season. I mean, you've seen everything in all my lives. So it's the puzzle stuff that so kind of, that's the big stuff is the puzzle. So hopefully I get lucky and she goes, but she's got every reason to go. There should be no reason why she's not going. She's she's doing bull wrapping. I can feel her follicle growth. She's uh, she's doing good. He say four or five friends, but I've never been invited. I saw your daughter, but <laughs> nasty. Um, yeah, I'll hit you up one of these days, you know, when they're having Hillcrest night, I'll hit you up. Oh, uh, let's see. <laughs> Anything you guys want to see? Uh, I'm going to wrap this up at 30 minutes, guys. I still have a bunch of stuff I got to do from the vacation. I still have stuff I got to unpack and wash. Got to do a short live. And uh, I've been meaning to create some kind of like uh, bits that we can do uh, kind of periodically. <laughs> show uh, you. Your nips. You and... You and the nips, bro. Oh, you're showing them your doll? Yeah. Be careful. Don't hurt yourself. Show them your doll. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Where'd you get that one? It's doing that. Who got you that doll? Me. Who bought it for you? Aubrey. Aubrey bought it for you? Yes. Oh, you like it? Yes. It looks like your sleeping bag you have. Okay. Go play. Ah. <sighs> Future Granddaddy Herbs. No shame in getting on the tube. Anything Orange Dream? I won't be uh, breeding anything Orange Dream, but Genomic Labs will be breeding. I got a male about six months ago, and he's just been one of the worst eaters I've ever had. So um, if he would have been eaten like all my other pigs do, he would have been able to breed this season. But no. My tri-stripe girl is 1,500 grams. Should I breed her to a multi-gene codon or another tri? Um, is the tri just a normal um um shut that off that's hard to say it just depends on what your long-term projects are um long term is all obviously the way to go but sometimes it's nice to breed short term so you get a little bit of the return on your investment no go shut that off go um so it just it all depends on what you want to do man seriously um if you have a uh a powerful male that you think could produce some nice heads, then go for it. Um, but never go wrong with heads. That's kind of the only way that you're gonna be able to do that home run clutch in the in the you know somewhat near future. Um, my goal is to get a visual hep, uh, visual puzzle male and bring them to a bunch of females to make heads and double heads. So, um, my blackhead hypo girls are, they're gaining some, some size. So come next year, come November next year, they'll be ready to go. So hopefully by then I, I can hatch out a visual male. Um, I have, I have another shot at it too. Me and, uh, me and AJ are doing something joint. So I could potentially have an, a visual male combo this year with that. Uh, so is the super hypo a thing? Here. What do you mean super hypo? It's right here. Hypo is homozygous, so it's in its final form. Ugh. The only 
I mean, there's certain snakes where hypo is is co-dominant, like uh, the boas. You can get a super hypo, but um, it's it's recessive, so it's in its homozygous form. There's no there's no super after that. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go inside right now. Okay, I'm almost done. Okay. See, final form like Frieza. <laughs> um, so one of my managers at work, um, he he has a final form. So I started calling him, and his last name is, is Foster. So I started calling him Final Form Foster. Um, he's one of my other managers that I work with. And uh, sometimes he gets like angry and he gets upset at my salesman. And uh, like he wears a red shirt. And then I always tell him when he wears his red shirt and he gets angry, he's in his final form. So his nickname is Final Form Foster, and he's always like, dude, I'm about to go final form on these fuckers. <laughs> I like your name, Black Ball. Cool. <laughs> hey, so I've got a friend that feeds her one-year-old pythons one mouse a week. Should I tell him to feed differently? Absolutely. Um, an adult mouse is enough to feed a, I'd say, a two- to three-month-old hatchling for roughly one to two months and that's it um and it should be ready for weaned rats uh, pretty quickly after that uh one year old python one mouse a, one mouse a week is just not enough um what will happen is long term it, it'll stun its growth and eventually it'll actually starve it won't be enough to keep it keep it going thanks king i might change it eventually once i get my branding specialist hired <laughs> nice um, okay, let's go. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap it up, man. Uh, sorry to cut it short. Like I said, I got some stuff I still got to do. So I was even debating not going live tonight because seriously, I'm, I'm exhausted and I've got a lot of stuff I got to do. But I want to I want to stay consistent on this thing. So, um, yeah, I'm going to wrap it up. So, okay, why are you yelling at me? Let's go. Go get it. Okay, so um, I'll catch you guys later, guys. Um, thanks for stopping by, all you guys. Hit the thumbs up on the way out. If